and welcome back guys we're gonna go ahead and play some more fallout new vegas and continue doing this main quest make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe button let's go play some fallout new vegas gameplay i take it you've come to deliver the platinum chip Our terms were clear. Now that you have the chip in your possession, any attempt to renegotiate payment would be tantamount to blackmail. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious, so very dear. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed, on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. A great deal shall be happening, a cascade of events with you taking a central role. At the moment, however, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. What you see there will help you understand the significance of what you accomplished at the fort. educational, don't you think? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securitron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the Strip. The Foundation is laid. My Securitrons on the Strip are upgraded, and those at the fort ready for action. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups, while we wait for Caesar's Legion to attack Hoover Dam. Outside New Vegas, at what was once called Nellis Air Force Base, resides an unusual tribe. They are, shall we say, aggressively reclusive, they have several howitzers they fire at anyone who dares approach the base. Artillery of this sort has a You...
but now I'm gonna clean slate the penthouse and we'll go ahead and take Mr. House out of the picture.
centuries of preparation. So much good undone. If personal gain, what you sought, should have done as asked. May there be... Aw. Hey, hey. Hello.
Mr. House is out of the picture, and you have the platinum chip. Wonderful. Let's go. huh? A very big moment. Here it goes. I'll just take that platinum chip off your hands. Thanks. Wish me luck. on every Securitron on the network. Every Securitron on the network has been upgraded. Pretty neat, huh? The Securitrons at the fort are on standby. I see a status log here confirming that the Mark II OS upgrade installed correctly. They'll be all set to go once we boost my transmitting power and bring them online with the network. But we'll worry about that later. Of course, ask away. They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion, or NCR though, well... That'd be neat. Then consider them ignored. If they end up firing their howitzers at us, we'll ignore that too. Until it goes away. That's... If you say so. I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. He hated their casino, said it was tacky, and he thought they were up to something. Because he said they always are. Whenever you get a rep, anything else I can... They go around in big suits of power armor and... Okay, consider them forgotten. Along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten! That's three down, two to go. From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. Don't hurry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. Anything else? I
saw. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back. Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? I sure do, but loose lips <laughs> sink ships. All right, you look pretty trustworthy. I hear you've actually been inside Lucky 38. You're the first person who's been in there in as long as any... I knew someone would call in that mark soon. What do you want to know? All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. Sorry, we don't have any hotel rooms available right now. But feel free to gamble or help yourself to... I hear you chase that chicken shit thing off. Good riddance. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass.
You again. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? Okay, you got me by the balls. I can't stop you, but that's gonna mean my death. I can make it with you a while to give it to me, though. Plus, if you go to the bosses, I can't help you stop what they've been doing. I can pay you for it, of course. Between you and I... Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking or gambling. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. Okay, toss him at me. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets his guns in exchange for not ratting. No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Well guys, that seems like a good place to stop this video. Make sure you hit the like button, make 